Patchkin, Patchkin. Chapter 1. Who will lift the latch? Once upon a time, there was a little green magic man. His name was Satchkin Patchkin, and he lived like a leaf in an apple tree. The apple tree grew by the hedge at the bottom of a long, untidy garden. At the other end of the long, untidy garden was a small, untidy cottage. A poor widow woman called Mother Farthing lived in the cottage, but it did not belong to her. It belonged to the farmer who lived in the house on the hill. He was a lean man, a mean man, a man without a smile. One sweet spring night when the dew was deep, Mother Farthing came walking late down the lane. She had been to the market to sell her one good cow. Her feet were slow and her heart was sad as she came to her cottage alone. My cow is gone, she sighed when she reached the gate. The gold in her purse was no comfort. The poor woman needed, needed it all to pay the farmer his rent. In the clear, pale sky beyond the hedge, the round white moon was rising. The old woman watched it, her hand on the latch of her cottage door. I looked on the moon as a lantern, she said, to save me the cost of a candle. But tonight I see it is more like a bowl of milk. The little green magic man in the apple tree heard her. He came out from among the new young leaves and looked at the moon for himself. Milk, he said thoughtfully, staring up at the sky. How many moons have grown fat and grown thin since I last took a drink of milk? It is so long ago I have quite forgotten the taste. The more he pondered and the more he wondered, the more he wanted milk. He told himself that milk he must have, or sleep he would have none. By way of the garden he went, and by way of the lane, with feet as light and fleet as a hurrying hare. Then under a five-barred gate he skipped, and over a clovery field to the edge of a stream. Across the dimpling water leapt the little green magic man, twisting and turning, swift as a leaf in the gale. High on the hilltop, the farmer's fine house was in darkness. Under his quilted counterpane, warm in his feather bed, the farmer was fast asleep. Into his dreams that were always full of money came the sound of banging and shouting. Waking and shaking his head, the farmer sat up, knuckling his sleepy eyes. Beside him, buried in blankets, his wife was still asleep. He woke her up at once. What's all that noise? she grumbled. What's all that banging and shouting down in the yard? How should I know? snapped the farmer. I've hardly had time to wake up. Time enough to waken me, snapped his wife. Open the window and see who is down below. The farmer climbed, muttering out of his warm, soft bed and went to the window. In the shivering draught, he shouted down to the shadows. Who's there, and what do you want at this time of night? Back came the answer, thin and clear as the ring of a silver bell. Satchkin, Patchkin, who will lift the latchkin? Satchkin, Patchkin, who will lift the latch? The farmer leant out of the window, but he could see no one down by the door, in spite of the light the moon had spilled on the steps. What do you want? he bellowed, angry at being kept out of bed in the cold. A mouthful of milk, said the clear, thin voice from below. Only a mouthful of milk, that is all. Milk, roared the farmer. Milk, at this time of night, be off with you now, whoever you are, and let me get back to my bed. He slammed the window shut and went, shivering, back to the waiting warmth of his bed. The little green magic man turned away from the locked and bolted door. Seventeen cows in the byre, he said, and not a mouthful of milk to spare for a stranger. Slowly now he went back the way he had come, drifting across the stream like a dragonfly, 
crossing the clovery fields to the five-barred gate and the lane. When he reached Mother Farthing's small, untidy cottage, he stopped. I must have a mouthful of milk, he said to himself. Trying to remember the taste will torment me all night. He began to bang on the old woman's door. Mother Farthing was lying awake in her narrow bed, mourning the loss of her cow. She got up at once and went to the window. Who's there? she called. What can I do for you? The answer came thin and clear like the sound of a silver bell. Satchkin Patchkin, will you lift the latchkin? Satchkin Patchkin, will you lift the latch? Of course I will, cried the old woman. I'll come down at once. Down the crooked stairs she went, feeling her way in the darkness. Her feet were bare, and the great square flags of the kitchen floor were cold. I'm coming, she called as she hurried towards the door. She lifted the latch, and the creaking door swung open. Only the moonlight came in, silent and bright, lighting the poor, shabby kitchen better than any candle. Who's there? called Mother Farthing. Who knocked? What is it you want? A mouthful of milk said a clear, thin voice behind her. A mouthful of milk, nothing more. The old woman turned and looked about her. Who is it? she asked. Where are you hiding yourself? I'm here on your table, said the voice. Look closely and you will see. So she looked, and she saw a little green magic man. Mercy on us, she cried. How did you get up there? The draught from your door blew me up, answered Satchkin Patchkin. Will you give me a mouthful of milk? Poor Mother Farthing sat down and wept. I have sold my one cow, she sobbed. I drank the last of her milk for my supper. There was nothing else in the house. Is it all gone? asked the little green magic man. Every last drop of it. The old woman stood up and lifted the jug from the dresser. One drop she said, tilting it sideways, no more than enough to fill a thimble, I fear. A thimbleful is enough for me, cried Satchkin Patchkin. So Mother Farthing fetched her silver thimble and drained into it the last of the milk from the jug. Then she gave it to the little green magic man. He drank it slowly, remembering how it tasted. When he had finished, he flung the thimble high in the air. It dropped clattering into the jug. At once the jug was full of sweet new milk. You will never again want for milk, said Satchkin Patchkin. Throw your thimble into the jug, open the door and say, Satchkin Patchkin, hear me lift the latchkin. Satchkin Patchkin, hear me lift the latch and the jug will be filled with milk. Thank you, said Mother Farthing. I shan't forget your kindness. The little green magic man sprang from the table onto the silver path the moon had put down by the door. If you ever need me, he said, drifting into the garden, you have only to come and call. My name is Satchkin Patchkin, and I live like a leaf in the apple tree. Thank you.